Today's lesson is spoken by a guitar teacher and he's also another fellow Brit, so he's going to be using lots of British English phrases such as someone's bread and butter, to crack on, and from the get-go, lots of phrases like that. We will cover all of them. Firstly, I'd like to ask you, which of these phrases can you hear in our short listening section? Take a listen and don't look at the subtitles. All right, let's crack on, shall we? The guitar is actually pretty straightforward once you've got the basics down. You've got six strings here, numbered from the thinnest to the thickest. Now, don't expect to sound brilliant from the get-go. It'll take some time. Start with your open chords like G, C and D. They're your bread and butter. Your fingers might feel a bit sore to start, but that's perfectly normal. You'll build up calluses before long. The key is to practice little and often. 15 minutes a day is enough to see real progress real quick. Trust me, I've seen it happen. That's right, he said little and often. The and being shortened to n, little and often. These are the other questions that we'll go through at the end of the video, but pause now if you want to take a quick look. But if you're okay with that, let's move on to the review of everything that was said. He said, all right, let's crack on, shall we? So to crack on means to get started. Let's crack on then, I'm in a hurry. It can sometimes have this idea of being in a hurry to get started. There are some other expressions here using the verb crack. So to crack down is something that the police would do if they're being more strict on the law and to crack up is to laugh. So just be aware that those are completely different. So he says, let's begin. The guitar's actually pretty straightforward once you've got the basics down. That's a common phrase saying to get used to the basics or to become good at them. Don't try any fancy moves until you've gotten the basics down. So this is also like saying, get the fundamentals down. Get them down, get really good at this basic stuff, and then you can move on to the more fancy stuff. You've got six strings here, numbered from the thinnest to the thickest. Now, don't expect to sound brilliant from the get-go. What's the get-go? The get-go is straight away. So the team attacked right from the get-go. Maybe this is a football game. I'll always imagine that it's football. And it doesn't matter what the example is. They didn't play it safe. They didn't have a strong offense. They attacked right away. And you can also say right off the bat. That's another very common way of saying the same thing. Don't expect to sound brilliant straight away. It will take some time. Makes sense. Second page. Start with your open chords like G, C, and D. I know nothing about guitars, so I will trust that that's correct because the person who read it is actually a guitar teacher. They're your bread and butter. So these open chords are someone's bread and butter. That means, this is very British now, by the way. I don't think anyone outside of the UK would use this at all. The main tool or skill that someone relies on, it is fundamental. It also says income here, it's slightly different use with main tool and skill. First, learn how to balance and position yourself. That's your bread and butter. So for example, if this is skateboarding, that is the fundamental thing you need to be good at, balancing, positioning yourself before moving on to anything else. You can also use it to mean your main earnings, your main job, your main way of making money. I have some side jobs, but teaching is my bread and butter. Your fingers might feel a bit sore to start. They might hurt, but that's perfectly normal. You'll build up calluses before long. If you don't know, calluses is when you kind of develop thick skin, just like a chef would, or someone who works as a carpenter. The skin's gonna heal itself time and time again, and it's gonna be less sensitive. The key is to practice little and often, like he said at the beginning, 15 minutes a day is enough to see real progress real quick. So this little and often probably makes sense. Yeah, it means to practice a little and often. We sometimes omit the a, uh, which could trip some people up. Consistency is key. A little and often goes a long way, which makes perfect sense because after he says 15 minutes a day, that's a little every day. Trust me, I've seen it happen. I would trust him. He seems to know what he's talking about. Over to the comprehension checking. Why should the listener learn open chords first? Because they're your bread and butter. 
They are your fundamental tools and skills that you should learn first. Also with the idea that they're used often. Question two, what should the listener do if their fingers hurt? He didn't really say anything. He said they might hurt, they might be a bit sore. You'll build up calluses before long. And then he talks about practicing. So I guess the answer would be nothing. It will stop over time. And the last question, would the speaker recommend daily or weekly practice? Given that he said little and often, and even his example of 15 minutes a day, I think that's a pretty clear indicator that he would recommend daily practice over weekly practice. Good job on your daily practice for today. And hey, if it's 15 minutes that's recommended, you've probably got about eight minutes to spare. 